my grandmother-in-law, she got a green thumb, so she always be talking junk, like, yeah, I can grow stuff and you can't. So I was like, all right, one day we're going to put some seeds in the ground. I'm about to show this joint about to come up. So that's what kick-started this. Welcome to the We Got Problems podcast with co-hosts Curtis G. Martin, Rhonda L. Brown, and Khalif Johnson C. The one and only podcast where solutions get discussed to our community's everyday troubles. Each week, you will hear mind-blowing conversations and actionable tips and strategies that you can implement in your daily life to become more effective. We got problems and we got solutions. Hey, you guys, welcome to the show. This is We Got Problems, where we discuss solutions. I'm Curtis G. Martin with my co-host, Rhonda L. Brown. Hey, everybody. And I have my other co-host, Khalif Johnson Sr. Peace. How y'all doing? And we have a special guest with us here today, uh, Veggie Man. Hey, Veggie Man, why don't you go ahead and tell the people a little bit about yourself and what it is that you do? So I'm Veggie Man and Veggie Crew uh, on IG, uh, underscore Veggie Man, and then Veggie Crew. And then Facebook is Veggie Crew, and I think underscore Veggie Man, too. And we deal in uh, holistic healing, whatever you want to put the label on it. We do uh, consultations, personal herb creation. So whatever you're dealing with, we can sit down and formulate something specifically for you because we have a line of products that's already uh, formulated. But we have those services where you can sit down and tell us everything and we'll formulate something for you. We're starting to add on well, we just added on the consultation. So uh, that's on the website now. So that's just a little bit of what we do. You were into the garden. Are you a first generation gardener? And if so, how did you get into it? I believe I'm a first generation uh, gardener. I got into it like maybe when 2022, maybe around 2017, 2016 area. My grandmother in law, she got a green thumb, so she always be talking junk like, yeah, I can grow stuff and you can't. So I was like, all right, one day we're going to put some seeds in the ground. I'm about to show this joint about to come up. So that's what kick started it. So after that, I just, you know, I got something to prove to her now. So, you know, we just, we that's our little battle back and forth. So that's how I got into it, was battling with my, my grandmother-in-law. Oh, wow. Was it easy or did you bump your head a lot? Uh, like- I definitely bumped my head. Uh, I didn't watch uh, what I put down and I wasn't watering it properly. Um and she definitely was talking junk to me. Like, I told you, you weren't going to let that thing come out the ground. It, it came up, and then it just... Do you recommend people plant their own garden when they first starting out, or should they hire somebody to get them started? I believe it's, it just depends on the vibe that you're looking for. If you want to get all cutesy boots and have it professional looking and all that good stuff, then get your professionals in. But if you want to get personal... And have that personal attachment to your garden. I say get on YouTube, start watching videos on how to do raised beds, how to if you don't want to do the raised bed, you got land to put it out there, then look up videos on how to you know space everything, how to cover everything, make sure it grows. So that's just the difference. Me personally, I per, I, I prefer the, the, the personal bonding time with whatever I'm gonna be putting in my mouth. Do you have a, a personal plan set up on a way season that you have to design your garden? Do you have a plan set up for that? Or do you have a guide where people can find and follow? Like your own YouTube channel, maybe? YouTube, I think we got some videos on there, but I'm glad you said it because actually that's one of the uh, things that we bring to the table now is putting together courses on showing you how to garden, you know, for the first timers, you know, the people who's in the middle range and then the advanced people anything that goes along with the course we're gonna put it up on youtube so with the gardening and you said you do you do the herbs and stuff do you do you consider it a business a lifestyle or do you consider it both both so when we started our garden like officially here at our home we put things in the ground that kind of went towards what we already selling so we do elderberry syrup So we put elderberries in the ground and we made sure um, when we got them that they were already like a year or two old so that it only gonna take maybe like a year for us to really bear the fruits to start using them in the products. So now we we passed that. They like this tall, they starting to get real high. So now we we're going to start transferring over to wholesaling berries and things like that. Like, what is your role for the community? What are the food? So, so we have a um, we have a homeschool, and we don't, we don't really talk about it too much, just a little bit. But so we have a homeschool called Veggie Crew Academy that we're now about to transfer to a big 
you know, actual building, enrolling kids and things like that. Um, so the role that we want to have in the community is like, um, I, I had a lot of respect for like the old heads in the hood when, you know, they sit, were they in a park doing chess, um, you know, on this, on the corner freestyling, whatever it is, you could always pull knowledge from them. Like they're always pouring into the community. So I always said when I got older, I'm gonna be like, you know, I'm gonna be one of the OGs walk around, you know, stuff like that. So our presence, we wanna, we wanna just have not, not too much stimulated on. Oh, eat healthy. Do this. Just have a presence so that when they're ready to walk down that path, it's there for you. We can, we can teach you. You know, whether you want to stop eliminating eating the meat, or you want to start gardening, or you want to do this, or you want to do that. That will be there for you. That's the place we want to have. Like that, that OG in the hood that you can just bump into on the street corner, and they just fill in your head with game. You're like, what are you talking about? Buy stocks and this, that, the third. You know, and then you go home, read about it, and next thing you know, you just going down a whole rabbit hole in a positive way. Yeah, I know you mentioned you said you grow elderberry. Uh, what other things do you grow? And is it one specific thing that you grow a lot of, and why? Uh, so we got figs, um, strawberries, cabbage, kale, uh, tomatoes, peppers, <clears throat> a plant called comfrey. Um, not like a lot of people deal with it, but it's a, it's a super beneficial, uh, plant and blackberries, goji berries. And I, I feel like it's something else. The Egyptian walking onion, and I believe that's it. So, which one you grow the most of, and why do you grow more of it? The elderberry, and we grow more of it for uh, you know using it in our uh, products and things like that. Hey, so before we move on to the next question, so what type of products do you guys? I know you said you have you do consultations and y'all sit down and make certain medicines, right? Do you have any other products like skincare products and things like that? So I'm, I'm really getting on my, my interest about it because we have like <clears throat> we have other uh, friends that has businesses that have like hair oils, skin oils and stuff like that. So she's kind of like teetering with should I come out with it? I'm like, come out with it. But um, so we do have skincare things, but at, like right now it's kind of like just personal and then, like, if you call in and ask for it, like, oh, yes, we have it. But uh, I think I think in a month we're going to actually make it available full time. But we have, I, I forget what she named it. I think it's uh, soul oil. So, yeah, we do have that. And you can use it in your hair, on your skin. It's just shea butter and cocoa butter and stuff like that. So natural things that, you know, you ain't got to worry. Oh, I can't put this on my skin or I can't put this on my face. You can put it wherever. There's critters and weeds and mm -hmm. all kind of stuff. Like, how do you deal with that? And are there some that, like, some critters and stuff that you want to keep around, like, you don't want to get rid of? So let's start with the ones we want around. We want the worms, the roly polies. I can't remember the actual scientific term for the, uh, for the name, but those are the only ones I really want. It's some other ones that, you know, they start eating the roots, destroying from the ground up and all that good stuff. But the ones that we don't want, what's the name of it? It's uh it's like a tick. It kinda like eats the the the, the uh the flower petals and you know, putting all the holes in it when you when you uh, if you ever been gardening you start seeing a bunch of holes, they just hop on and start eating, turning it apart. That's what um, we can call them. We can call them stink bugs. Yeah, stink bugs. <laughs> hey, we, can't, we can't disrespect them caterpillars out there either. I, 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 I know butterfly don't like it much. <laughs> caterpillars, the they, butterflies, they, they pollinate. They help pollinate. The butterflies. The butterflies. I'm talking about the caterpillars that go in and say. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah, the caterpillars, they eat. They, 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 you got to, uh, I think it's called, and I kind of try not to use it. You can use neem oil. And uh, I think neem oil and water and like spray, but uh, I think it's like seven dust or something like that. Uh -huh. if, you, if you don't care about you know contaminating your plants, you can put that on it. And it'll be, you know, <laughs> or, I like how you, you said know, that? Oh, I, I care about contaminating my plants. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and we pick them so off neem my head. You really neem oil, if you care about contamination, neem, and you can plant plants as well. Like uh, 
we got a, a bunch of mint. And we only got it for, you know, certain type of bugs, the snakes, stuff like that. But you can actually plant stuff that'll keep, I think, lavender, eucalyptus, stuff like that'll keep keep the bugs out. I got a question for you, right? So you, you feel with all of this information you know about bugs, you know about the plants, you know about the soil. If you could write a book today on anything you want, what would you write it on? My life. <laughs> Because it has everything to do with what I'm doing right now. I was going to tell you, when it comes to this gardening, so you're going to write a book about your life and possibly gardening. What's one thing you want to be remembered for in this gardening community? Healing people. When you say healing people, what do you mean? When you start gardening, it's almost impossible not to go on a spiritual journey. Almost impossible. Unless you just don't care about yourself. It's almost impossible for you to see something go. It's like having a baby, putting it in the ground, watching it come up. Hey, don't you, like, I, I got old heads. Don't you step right there. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they ain't playing. And it ain't nothing for them to eat. It's just a, a plant that they grew, but that's their baby. Yeah, so yeah. that personal journey that you go on, that spiritual journey, whatever your religion is, whatever, that journey that you go on, you put that seed in the ground, you're not going to be the same. So, I don't care who you are, you're not going to be the same. So explain to me what's what's a spiritual journey? Going inward. So a lot of people like searching for stuff, you know, outside themselves for happiness. Like, oh, let me go to this party. Let me go smoke this blunt. Let me go drink this liquor. Let me go get some, you know what? But when 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 you go on a spiritual journey, no matter what your religion is, at some point in time, you got to make it spiritual. When you go inward and fixing the stuff inside, it's like the car. When you if if that check engine light come on, you better make sure you figure out what it is, and you can't it, you can't put that little because you can put the little tape on it too to cover the, the check engine light, but it's still so at some point in time you have to pop that hood and get busy. So uh, uh, the spiritual work, you know, is going inward. It's 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 fixing yourself and loving yourself at the same time. I know you were saying about, you know, the, the war you have with your, your grandmother with the gardening. Who are the three most influential people in your life and why? Ooh. I would say the first one would be my grandmother just passed away. She was one of them grandmamas that it don't matter what excuse you come with, she ain't trying to hear it. <laughs> She's not trying to hear it whatsoever. And I'm from Philadelphia, so you can kind of get a gist of what type of grandma I had. But um, hey. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be the first one. The second one, I would say my wife. She showed me some things that, well, she, I'm going to be honest. She showed me what love is. And without me knowing that, I'll be still a wild boy out here. And she's really the, one of the reasons why I'm on this journey. But, and why I got the nickname Veggie. And the last person, I will say, it's kind of, Two people, uh, Doctor Sabi and Doctor uh, Mia Laff. Two of the best to do it. Huh? Right. Yeah. Okay. What's one question you wish you would have? We would have asked you. And how would you have answered it? I guess what will be a hidden talent? What's the hidden <laughs> talent now? Oh, you can't just leave it there. <laughs> um, I can sing a little bit. We ain't gonna do you like that right <laughs> now. But otherwise, we need to hear something. What you got in there? Yeah, no, got it's coming. Out? It's coming for sure. That's the, it's, it's a lot of things. That's why I said that question. Because when you ask that question, it's a lot of things that people don't know about everybody. It's a lot of healing talents that we got. You know what I'm saying? So that question is like the like one of the best icebreakers. I used, so, to, uh, I used to ask that question in interviews. They were like, well, if you want to ask this question, tell me something that I don't know about you or your hidden talent. And they just like, oh, well, now I get to say, oh, I'm a, a book collector. I like collecting, you know, the little nerdy stuff that don't nobody want to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> now, tell me this in your rap career or, or singing <laughs> yeah, career. You, you know, I don't I don't know what you want to do. Rap <laughs> career, singing career. Both. Both. Are you are you gonna put in there messages about the whole gardening world and the healings and all yeah, that? Yeah, it's definitely gonna be some 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 conscious spoken poetry slash those type vibes. You know, I'm from Philly. It's the soul stuff. You gotta snap them fingers. 
yeah, so it's definitely right. gonna be some some Erica Badu and type vibes, some Maxwell, some. I'm telling y'all my my playlist. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oh man. Do you have do you have like an accountability partner or a coach or a mentor? My wife. <laughs> okay. Y'all know how y'all women is. Hey, y'all ain't nothing slide. <laughs> okay. So is so is she your accountability partner and coach? Or so we, we bounce on one another. Okay, that's cool. So when she come with me with the oh I'm hyping her up and then when I come with the oh she hyping me up. So how how about far as in the gardening world and y'all healing space, uh, who's y'all mentor? I know you said it's Dr. Sabi and, and Dr. Africa, but how about how about a, a mentor where y'all get information from? Really those two, honestly. We got a okay. bunch of their books. Um I'm actually a part of something where his his daughter is actually in it. So the, I'm really attached to them too. Dr. Savy was the one I started researching and finding out about when I first started this journey. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Dr. Uh, Leo Africa, I, I actually met him personally. Him and Dick Gregory. I should have had a Dick Gregory on there too, because he got my spirit that I don't give a bleep spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me ask you this. Did you start an LLC or a C Corp and why? And is it in the trust? It's definitely in the trust, and it's an LLC. And the reason why is for protection and, and, and to be able to have assets readily available. You know, you, you be wanting funding and stuff like that, and then you don't. And you wonder why you don't get it. It's because it's not set up properly. They be wanting to see some thingy things mm -hmm. <laughs> before they pass out some thingy things. <laughs> right. So with that, so I'm assuming that you you made a you got a business plan and you know you did your research and stuff ahead of time. It's definitely a long a long term goal. I didn't just start this because it was COVID and I needed some money. This is actually my life. Uh, I almost died three times throughout these thirty three years on this earth, and um, the last time was the final one. And if I didn't get what I needed to get from that message, I would not be here talking to y'all right now. Because I'm not... When you when you have nudges, like in life, that's pushing you in a certain direction, if you keep ignoring it, you're going to get checked about it. I'm talking to my people who's having these near-death experiences and things like that. It's, it's, it's like, wake up! Right. Hey, so tell me this: Do you have a do you have any type of things you do for young entrepreneurs to get them in the same space you're in? And if not, uh, do you plan on creating one? Definitely creating something like a like a business stemming specifically towards that, and probably incorporating the Veggie Crew Academy. But that's pretty much where I, where I really start off at, like the Veggie Crew Academy. Even though we only supposed to have one extra person in the house on sometimes we seem to find ourselves with more than just one um so like when i deal with those those kids or, or whatever in that age range i kind of like just pour into them you know hey look at this you like x y and z what's well, the avenue in crypto for you here this you know and if you're gonna go that route start your business get your business and you ain't too young your mama could do it you know just stuff like just saying stuff like that and keep saying it every time they see because our youth are so powerful but one, one little nugget will change their life because they're hungry. They just don't have nobody showing them like, hey, man, it's, it's literally this easy. Just read this book. You know, they don't have a lot of people not sitting here having a conversation like me and you have in, in the community like that. If it ain't about Jordans, weed, food, clothes and sex, they ain't trying to hear. It. <laughs> hey, that's the real. By you even speaking this way, I'm curious to know. How do, uh, how do your peers view you in the community? Honestly, when I start talking, and this is not to boost the ego or anything, they, they just be flabbergasted because y'all don't know me like that. But the people that do is like, we would have never, ever thought. A lot of people thought I was going to be dead, in jail. Like, even at my wedding, this was not this was 10 years ago. They was like, we didn't think you were going to be getting married. And yeah, y'all thought I was going to be dead, didn't y'all? <laughs> and they did that are in jail by 25 that's what they preach is that's what they preach to us they preach it to me in school you're gonna be dead or in jail by 25. yep my teacher actually told me that she said you're gonna be dead before you get 20. thank you miss riley thank you mr kong 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what's your why? Why do you do what you do? The woman behind me and uh, my, my, my kindred, my, my offspring. My father wasn't in my life until I was 25. So that pushes me to show them, yo, it's some, it's some other ways of doing things in life. You don't got to go slang dope. You ain't got to go clock into a nine to five. You can do what you need to do before then. You can do it at this age. Like my, my youngest is five. And I told him, he liked to draw, start drawing them. And we're going to turn these mugs into some NFTs. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Exactly. Hey, hey, so for your products and your course, do you have a affiliate program where other people can make a little something for referring people to you? Um, not now, but uh, within a couple weeks, because I'm actually selling my own. Uh-huh. So y'all can kind of get a gist of where we headed. There's a lot of things that's going to be coming down the pipe. Us giving a lot more of ourselves. Because a lot of people want to see that. Uh, this is what we hearing from people talking to us. Like, oh, we want to see some more. So uh, we've been kind of, you know, hectic these last couple months, you know, getting things prepped. But that's definitely, definitely in the works. Okay. Things like coaching sessions and books. and Okay. okay. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of uh, peace time. I'm going to have a lot of time to be able to sit down and focus. A solopreneur. Or do you have a team that you work with and, and you build together? I guess you could say a team because everybody down on the LLC. So me, my kids, and my uh, my empress. So that's the team. <laughs> no, that's a good and team. We definitely put Great them team. to work. That's a team I can depend on in the, yeah, in the yeah. clutch. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Up like Jordan. Well, if, if you don't do what you're supposed to do, I can I can talk some junk because you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> hey, hey, look. So, ha- have there ever been a time when you was doing this gardening thing and you thought maybe, man, this ain't gonna work? I'm, I'm ready to give up. Our first, I think, our first year with the garden we got out there. Now, we did not bear any fruits. The the animals was definitely taking it. <laughs> um, some stuff was taking long to come up because we didn't want to do the miracle grow stuff and get stuff in five seconds. Didn't want to do that. We wanted to do it natural, compost, all that stuff. So, yeah, we definitely was like, yo, I don't know. We cut out. <laughs> hey, explain to me. How did you guys fix that? Just stay pre- garden. You got to be persistent. Consistent. <laughs> uh, you definitely got to be consistent and be on top. It, it's, it's super critical. Like, it's tedious. It's easy, but it's tedious. Like, you some plants you can't water in a certain amount. Some plants need to be positioned in sun. You know, it's it's a bunch of stuff. So if you're not um, paying attention to detail, you definitely ain't gonna be growing up. So we have we have this section. It's a rapid fire, twenty second answers. Just short, you know, short, sweet, whatever comes to mind. <laughs> What's the most important thing that you've learned in life? Uh, to enjoy it. If you could turn back the hands of time to when you were 18, what would you tell yourself? Be consistent <laughs> in if positive you, things. If you could sit down with one person, dead or alive, who would it be and why? A new. And why? Which is the prime creator, whatever your religion is, do your own research. But uh, the reason why is uh, I want to know the most deepest, darkest secrets of this universe. And he's the only one that can answer that. There we go. Or she. People always say you should save money and invest. Like, what type of assets do you invest in? Um, right now, precious metals, land, crypto. Uh, that's pretty much it right now. Okay, so you're in the garden. You're a little bit different from everybody else. What's one tool that you use that makes your life go a lot smoother? Oh, man. I can't think of the name. But uh, the, the tool that you use to, to, to put the holes in the ground and spread it all out and all that. Yeah, man. That that tool right there. Um, I think it's the one that spaces the holes. It, 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 uh, you can, you can ag- aggregate the ground and also um, set the holes in where you're going to put the seeds in. So it, it like makes life uh, much easier. Hey, if you could recommend one book for the people, what would it be? Top Secret Bankers Manual. What's What's your best tip for making our community a better place? 
treat people like you want to be treated? It's that there simple. Universal, that's simple. <laughs> mm-hmm. Universal rule. Okay. How do you balance your life with the family and then the life with the business? How do you make both of them work? Hire them. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Once I hire them, now we spend the time together. <laughs> yep. I like that. Hey, you know what? You know why I really like that one? Because I I know my son. He's looking for something that's just his own. And mm-hmm. I paid somebody to make this shirt. Right. Mm-hmm. I bought him a heat press machine, and we're gonna get into him making shirts. Um, you talked about getting your kids some um, NFTs. We finna actually turn him into a superhero. It's going to actually be him, a little black kid on some shirts, and we're going to turn that to NFT and sell shirts. And the way we're going to get some of them sales, right, we're going to put his friends on there with him, turn them into superheroes too, so they become sellers, right? Mm-hmm. But, but anyway. She got a shirt with me on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and now, mama, and now, mama there. gotta buy a box of shirts so she can uh, spread them out to the family because her baby on it. Yeah, come <laughs> on, man. <laughs> hey, don't be giving up all the business plans right now. <laughs> no, you remember? Remember, we got problems after dark, man. So we share solutions, man. It's all good. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it is. Uh, how do you celebrate your wins? Oh boy, I don't think we celebrated yet. Um, I honestly I celebrate wins by investing back in the company. Like it be it be certain now. That, like when you become an entrepreneur, you get so excited about the most stupid. Oh, we got a new fax machine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You mad hype about stuff like that. So that's that's how we reward ourselves. Like oh, we just ordered a box of tapes from Uline. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he working them net thirties, ain't he? Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look. So, so one thing we want to say is that um, when you do have some wins, make sure y'all celebrate as a family. If that's y'all team, celebrate as a family. So that way, um, that celebration can be something that you look forward to the next time, and then everybody will look forward to getting those wins, right? So mm-hmm. that's a good thing about celebrating. So where can people find you at? I know you said at the beginning, but we need to remind people where you are. Where, where is uh, it? Where, websites? Where, where are all your contacts? The website, veggiemk.com. Uh, Instagram uh, uh, media, social media handles is underscore veggie man and then at veggie crew. Hey, There's two, that, what, two separate pages. What's that on the wall behind you? Oh yeah, this is a uh, matter of fact. Hold on, <laughs> yeah, that's, all, that's all the handles right there. Hey. So, at Veggie Man underscore Veggie Crew. This is uh this is my uh, my Empress's uh, page because she does uh oh I forgot to say that we do do a uh, dual service. Uh, uh-huh. So that's her page for the dual services. Uh, that's the email Veggie Man LLC at gmail dot com. And then, uh, yeah, VeggieMK.com. Okay. All right, cool. Is there any last words you want to leave people? Of course. Got to, got to, got to talk some, 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 some noise with them. So for the people, this is I got three things that we should be focusing on as a unit. This is a unit. All uh, we, all we got. Right. So one, treat people like you want to be treated. That's how we're gonna be able to do this group economic thing. Mm-hmm. Two, read, read, read. I can't stress that enough. It's so many pdfdrives.com. You can get any book. Mm-hmm. So there's literally no excuse. And if you can't get it, I know y'all spending twenty dollars on them on them 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 them, them gum bags. bags. Yeah, them bags. <laughs> and I know you spending them gummies when you taking you and your shorty out. So I know you can buy a book off Amazon because y'all buying stuff y'all ain't supposed to from Amazon anyway. That's number two. Read. Number three. Put that stuff in motion. Don't procrastinate. Put it in motion. So whatever gardening, if you want to stop smoking, if you if you want to be more disciplined, do it. It ain't no more thinking because you done already thought about it. Mm-hmm. You done already thought about it. It's time to do it. Mm-hmm. That's it. All right, Trash, oh. what do you want to lead the people with? Hey, bro, I, I'm 
re- I was so excited to finally get this interview done. Like I remember how much stuff that we've been going through to make sure this interview right here happened. I'm extremely proud. You've done phenomenal work in the community, and I look I forward to some of the work that you've got coming up, man. You're a phenomenal king, and I really appreciate you for the work you do. Thank you. Appreciate Rhonda, that, Rhonda. What you want to leave the people with? You know, I think Veggie Man said it. Like, look, you you can read all you want, you can do all the studying. You have to put it in motion for anything mm-hmm. to change or anything to work. So, yeah, and thank you for for the. Fire interview. Fire interview. All the information. Yeah, appreciate Fire. you for coming on, my brother. Appreciate you for doing the Black Masterminds as well. I don't think I ever got a chance to thank you for that one. Uh, but to all the people out there, if you guys looking to start growing a garden, uh, I shouldn't say if you're looking to start growing a garden, you should start growing a garden. I remember at one time me growing up, every family had a garden. And if you wasn't growing something that the other person was growing, y'all would change bags of stuff with each other. We need to get back to that because Veggie Man said it as we started. We all we got. We got problems and we also have solutions. Oh, yeah. From the team at CRC Empire, we want to thank you for listening. To stay connected with us, like, share, and subscribe to the We Got Problems podcast. You can find us on social media platforms at Curtis Martin 247, at Rhonda Wright's Official, and at the underscore trash underscore vegan underscore. We got problems and we got solutions.